this is Brenton Ford from Effortless Swimming, and this is How to Breathe in Butterfly for Beginners. Have you ever wondered why some swimmers have the breathing and the timing right in Butterfly, and you don't? Well, so did I. So I went and found out from the top swimmers and coaches in Australia to find out exactly what they're doing in training to get these two things right. And here are just two of the drills that they're doing to get their breathing and their timing right in Butterfly. Standing Recovery. This drill is designed to help you practice the recovery and breathing timing of the stroke. Find somewhere in the pool that is waist to belly button depth high and stand with your feet shoulder width apart and lean over so your upper body is just above the water. Start with your hands behind your hips and bring them over in the recovery stroke. Your little fingers should exit the water first and your thumb should be pointed down as your arms come over. Enter the water shoulder width apart and to breathe, lift your head when your hands pass your shoulders in the pull through. Your face should begin to re-enter the water as they are coming over on the recovery. Pa practice this drill slowly and get comfortable with the technique. Front kick, hands by side. This drill helps you become comfortable with the kick and raising your head to breathe. To do this drill, Kick on your front with your hands by your side. Every two dolphin kicks, lift your head just out of the water and take a breath. You can see Jeremy breathing every four or five kicks in some of his strokes, which is okay to do. I prefer swimmers to breathe every two kicks as it helps become familiar with the timing of the breathing in butterfly swimming. For more tips and drills, go to effortlessbutterfly.com.